Thank you, Joshua. Good morning. Uh, normally, if I was doing a presentation at, at work, I would have said, please stand up, because you've been sitting up for two hours. Maybe stretch your limbs and stuff. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to kind of be here and talk about our journey with AWS. We are in very early stages of our journey. We're 12 months in. Uh, but we're very excited with the tremendous potential that AWS has. Uh, so let me start with first having an introduction of Sun Life. Most people would know what Sun Life is in Canada. But let me kind of give a different perspective of, of what Sun Life is. We're a large global financial services organization. We have operations in 26 countries. Uh, we are extremely proud to be a part of the global 100 sustainable organizations in the world. Uh, we have close to a trillion dollars in asset management, which is something that most people don't know about us. And we are extremely grateful and humbled by the trust that our clients have put in us for the last 154 years. Yes, we've been around. Around the, around the block for a while. Now, we are obviously a leader in Canada in insurance, investments, asset management, and financial advice. But what most of us, uh, most of you might uh, or might not know is we're equally a leader in the US. Uh, we have strong presence in Asia. In fact, in Philippines, we're number one out there. And we've been there for more than 100 years over there in Philippines. And then we are scaling and growing significantly in the asset management space. Our growth strategy is focused on high return on equity in all these different pillars of growth, and a huge focus on client centricity. And I'll talk more about that. Our ambition is to be one of the best insurance and asset management companies in the world. And that's a lofty goal, because there's quite a bit of competition out there. So how do we get there? Well, this is called Client for Life. Client for Life, for us, is our organizational strategy which guides our ambition across all our key growth pillars. With clients at the center of everything we do, Client for Life enables speed of execution by leveraging our core strengths, the strengths in our talent and culture, the expertise we have in financial discipline, and the expertise we have in distribution globally. But most importantly, it is through an enterprise-wide transformation with data, digital, and analytics, which I'll talk more about today. So how do we actually make digital data and analytics make it real for our clients out there? Well, we're focused on three key client outcomes with this strategy out there. How do we make the relationship with our clients more personalized and more proactive? How do we make sure that it's easier for clients to do business with us? And finally, we don't claim to be the perfect organization out there. We know sometimes things do go wrong. So how do we actually look at making the client experience better through effective problem resolution. With this in mind, as we were looking at our choices in terms of technology and cloud services providers out there, we were looking at three key attributes to augment what we already have in our ecosystem. It was experience, it was the focus on innovation, and then finally, it was the strength in security and risk management. AWS for us fits the bill in all those three categories out there. The depth and expertise that AWS has in data, analytics, and digital is important for us. The speed and scale at which AWS is innovating with all these data and data services allows us to bring new client outcomes much faster. And finally, we're a highly regulated organization globally. We have to kind of deal with the regulatory changes which are happening throughout the globe out there. And the focus that AWS has on security and compliance was very important to us. One of the things that Eric mentioned about protected B certification is a very important step in that journey. While we're in early stages of our journey with AWS, we are making some strong inroads with many different of our internal business units. In the domains of finance and regulatory operations, we're leveraging AWS, marketing automation, data and analytics, recommendations engines, and modernization of our core systems. Core systems that have been running for 35, 40 years, how do we modernize them and digitize them is a key focus area for us. Now, let me dive a little bit deeper in terms of the, the capabilities that we're using with AWS. Again, as I said, the focus for us is not to be experimenting with too much technology. It is on the client outcomes that we are able to deliver. So what kind of client outcomes can we unlock with AWS services? 
Over the last 12 months, we have enabled many different AWS data services and integrated them with our business processes. These include Glue, Redshift, Lambda, RDS, Kinesis, and SageMaker. And one of the things that I'm extremely proud of is, as I look at the team that has enabled all these services out there, 80% of our team has, has been the team that we've actually leveraged the strength and the talent that they've had for the last 15, 20 years in systems architecture and design. And we've enabled an ecosystem through which they can learn and try new technologies out there. What we've also done is we've established a cloud center of excellence, which allows us to continuously test and evaluate new business services out there. Again, every time there's, a, there's an increase in business demand on certain capabilities, we look at those services and we onboard those services. Some of these services which we are actually going to be implementing in 2020 include things like Firehose, Elasticsearch, and obviously Comprehend. Now, let's talk about architecture, because the, the, all these services are great, but how do you package them together in, in, a, in a meaningful way? Uh, one, one of the things we have tried to kind of focus heavily on is standardization of architecture globally. What you see here on the screen is, a, is an architectural pattern that is being leveraged by many different business units globally. It allows us a couple of benefits. Uh, one, it allows us consistency, efficiency, and scale. So we, we could start deploying patterns out in uh, the central region, expand it to the US East region, and then launch that in the Singapore region, all in a, minute, uh, in a matter of days rather than years. The other thing which the standardized architecture allows us to do is it allows us to enhance our time to market. We can release and unleash new capabilities much, much faster. And as a regulated organization, what it also allows us to do is, is as the regulatory changes happen, as the regulators evolve with their requirements on, on financial services out there, we're quickly able to adapt and implement those regulations out there. Now, this is all great, but is it really driving and changing our business? Is it enabling us? So what, what are some of the early outcomes or the, or the metrics or the results that we are seeing out there? So let me share a before and after with you. This is the state of our data and analytics ecosystem which we had before moving to AWS. Across the four dimensions that I have in front of you here, uh, we had issues with how we provide access to data. Uh, we had issues in capacity and performance. Adding capacity used to take a very long time. We had, I would say, a, a selection of advanced technologies and AI tools out there, but certainly not the, the depth that we have now. But the biggest issue was around the culture. We could only afford data and analytics for the organizations that could truly, that truly had a business case or they actually were able to afford this technology on-premise. Now, now, let me share some of the things that, that have transformed. In terms of providing access to data, from six to nine months, we are now able to transform that to three to four days. And this is a global access mechanism out there. From being capacity constrained on performance, we now have on-demand elastic performance. What used to take, uh, a, like models that used to take about days to run can now actually be run in minutes and hours. And these are very extremely complex actuarial models out there. From being limited on AI and ML technologies, now we have an ecosystem of AI uh, e uh, technologies with AWS, which we are using and integrating with our business processes. But the most dramatic shift has been on the culture side of things. So from being able to restrict data and analytics to only a few select business units, we are now an enterprise of experimentation and innovation. We have access available to all our business users globally. Uh, we are expanding our data and analytics services from our Canadian and US ecosystems to Asia over the next couple of months, and then to UK and Ireland. Here are some examples of our, how our business units are using AWS in the domains of how we can enhance our ability to detect fraud and reduce our overall cost to the clients? How do we transform our actuarial finance and regulatory operations out there? Developing new insights so we can have a better placement of our distribution strategy. And finally, improving the predict prediction accuracy of bond ratings. These are just a snapshot of some of the examples of where we are leveraging data and analytics. 
We in Sun Life are proud to be a client-obsessed organization. For us, clients are at the center of everything we do. And the next series of transformations that we are going to be enabling out there will again be focused on the client journey. Here is an example of some of these client transformations that we're bringing out there in terms of those digital nudges which allow you to look at our products and services differently, uh, providing more choice in terms of convenience of touch points how you interact with us, digitization of the backend processes to enable faster client experience, simple things like how do we have client communications in plain and simple language out there, and recommendations engines. At Sun Life, we are committed to helping our clients achieve lifetime financial security and live healthier lives. This fuels our ambition, but most importantly, it gives us a sense of purpose and belonging. We're excited to work with AWS in this transformation journey. And in, in this course, we're not trying to be a technology company. We're trying to transform into a client-obsessed company and a true digital enterprise. Thank you. Thank you.